Well, um, as I've shown, uh, primitive values um, don't get treated the same way as objects. And the reason for this, of course, is it improves efficiency. And uh, it's one of the trade-offs that had to be made in Java, whether to um, have everything as objects or not. Um, some lang languages like Smalltalk, everything is uh, an object, but uh, not in Java. However, sometimes um, for things like uh, the collection classes, which we we'll come to eventually, and some other things, it's, it's sometimes desirable to treat primitives as if they were objects. And um, in order to, to do that, uh, there are these special classes available. And uh, as you can see, these are, are named pretty similar to the primitive types, apart from character and integer. And um, uh, these basically just, uh, they're called wrapper classes, and they just contain um, a single integer or a single character or, or, or short or whatever it happens to be. Um, they've also got some other useful things as well. Um, um, character, for instance, has um, got uh, details about whether the character is uppercase or lowercase. It can tell you all sorts of things about it, whether you, it is normally printed right to left um, like Arabic or left to right, like Western script, and, and uh, a mass of things it can tell you about it. And similarly for the other ones as well, integers got details about what the maximum integer is and stuff like that. So these are quite useful classes, but basically they just wrap a single integer or or character or whatever the primitive type happens to be. Now uh, boolean and uh, character they subclass object. And the rest of them subclass something called number. And uh, number's got some other subclasses as well, which I've not mentioned here, but the, those are for arbitrary precision arithmetic. Um, and number subclasses objects, so fairly straightforward. Now, um, all of all of these classes there, I've got a constructor that takes a value of the primitive type. And all of them, apart from character, I've also got one that takes um, a string type. So you could write something like this down here. That's no problem. However, having said that, it is better, in fact, to use um, this other thing that they've also got, which is a static method called value of. And they've all got they've all got this, and um, it takes a value of the the appropriate primitive type, and it returns. Um, an object, or a reference to an object of the class, the relevant class. So you've got um, uh, it's uh, it w you've got a method like this then in integer. It take it returns an integer and it takes uh, an int. Uh, you can also go the other way. There's also uh, methods to go the other way in, in, in all these classes. So there is also something called um, int value in integer, for instance, which goes in the other direction. It takes, um, it, it, uh, it returns the int value that's been wrapped in the class. Now in practice, um, these constructors and methods that I've shown here, they're not actually used that often, not these days, because there's a new facility, well not that new, but uh, it was added recently, that um, uh, called boxing and unboxing, uh, which is also known as auto boxing, which makes all their use unnecessary, and uh, that's what I'm going to come to next. Uh, right then, what's um, unboxing? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, uh, if you need a primitive type somewhere, you can use an instance of one of the above classes in its place. That's pretty straightforward and the compiler automatically puts in code to do the conversion. And for boxing, uh, that's pretty simple as well. If you need an instance of one of those classes, you can use a primitive type instead, and the compiler automatically inserts code to construct the class from the primitive. Now, there's one particular thing that's worth mentioning, uh, and that is that um, uh, binary and unary numeric promotion can include a preliminary unboxing stage. So what happens is unboxing is performed first and then you can do binary and unary promotion. Uh, 
this is one of these instances where you're going to go back and fill in some details. I we'll have to do that again for generics too. All right. Um, and just in case I didn't mention it, um, um, in addition to the various uh, operator expressions, uh, or the unary operator expressions, and uh, and the shift operators as well that use unary promotion, the unary promotion is also done for the uh, dimension that's in array creation, and for the index expression when you access an array. Well, that's the pop to square brackets. Okay, and as I said before, there is a, a small performance penalty when you use these uh, wrapper classes.